We gotta go investigate this village and see if there was bread right next to me the whole time. There's no way this gives me that much bread, right? I haven't really thought about it. Previously in the series, I had the idea to try these shroom gummies that I got sent. If I ever find a mushroom, I will reach the mushroom. Ow! Specifically a giant mushroom, I think is what I said. And we just did it. If one gummy is perceptible, then we've got some strong stuff here. But we're going for a microdose. These look really nice. They look yummy. Cheers, everybody. Dude. What is up, my dudes? It's Jack the Dab Lad. We're getting ready to record Dabcraft, my hardcore Minecraft series where we do a dab every night. I'm really hoping that we can find mushrooms in Minecraft so that I can try these mushroom gummies that I have from Elixir LA. But I think I'm gonna just farm these areas that are full here real quick. Actually, no, we'll farm when I get back. I want to adventure first. I want to make this event, this episode exciting. We'll finish our bread maybe by the end of the episode because we'll we'll come back and we'll have a shitload of bread to and wheat to farm, right? Bro, this music is going hard right now. Holy fuck! Once upon a time in this series, I climbed up a tree and looked really far, and I'm pretty sure I saw a giant mushroom. I'm like a little over caffeinated today. But yeah, I want to go up this tree. I think this is the tree I already climbed up. Perfect. So I should be able to see what I saw last time, which if I remember correctly, it is a mushroom off in the distance. Aha! That way! The, that, that red thing! We're gonna go to that. And then once we get there, we get to eat a gummy. This is gonna be crazy. Ah! This way. I'm gonna create a trail of torches to help find my way back. Maybe I should have put a Put a bunch of torches on that tree. This is interesting. Ooh, more melons. Oh, dude, I didn't use my freaking spyglass. I was up there. I had the perfect opportunity to spy. What a bummer. Look at all these wild melons, man. Holy crap. I'm not even gonna harvest them all. Oh, more melons. Sick. So you want to do this early so that you'll be able to see the effects of the gummy. Because if I eat the a gummy at like, the end of the episode. Oh shit, I forget that I usually record using this microphone for, for Dabcraft. Well, if you've watched this far in the YouTube video, let me know which microphone you prefer. Do you like this one that you're listening to now, or did you prefer the last one? I st forgot about placing torches. I stopped doing it. That's right, we'll be able to... Way. Maybe I should make a boat. So that shit was on the... You prefer the other mic, really? Good to know. I think the other one is higher quality. This one kind of gives you like a Xbox party chat feel, which I guess is a... Oh, mother fuck. Oh, God. <gasps> Forgot about these things. Do I... There's a village. Do I need to sleep? Oh. Get wrecked, bro. These things don't even hurt very much. You ever had Slappy Pie? Bro, I have had Slappy Pie. That's a great strain, dude. This really good rosin company called Single Source does uh, a slappy pie that I'm a big fan of. Dude, we be we be battling out here. Holy fuck, getting kind of crazy. Holy shit. Okay, okay, we're going back up. Oh fuck. Ah! Dude, I feel like I'm in a goddamn Lord of the Rings movie right now. This is crazy. Come at me, bro. I need to kill this skeleton. Bruh, I'm not going to die. Not like this. I am low on health though. Is that an apple? Where the fuck did that come from? Why are there apples? Oh, oh. You've been wanting to invest in full spectrum? I found some full spectrum. You definitely want anything that's full spectrum for sure. How did that hurt you? Poor spider. He's like, I'ma climb up the tree. Ouch. Wow. Well. I just wanted to go visit the mushroom. Apparently I signed up. What the fuck? Apparently I signed up. I walked into hell. This is fucking crazy. Bro, back up. I will reach the mushroom. Ow, oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. This guy has a shovel. Gotta be careful of him. Shovels hurt. 
I see you, creeper. What the fuck is that thing in the water? Bro, am I too far? It was like on the coast, right? Dude, I killed all the sky demons. Let's go. So you're talking like you want full spectrum stuff because before you were getting more distillate based products. Fuck you, damn it. I spoke too soon about the sky demons. All right, I do, I need a, I need a fucking level up. Chop some wood. I'm like a little stressed. Oh, dude, it's nighttime. I need to fucking do a dab, dude. Holy shit, I almost spent all night fighting and didn't dab. What's wrong with me? We got to dab fast, dude. Holy shit. This has been a wild episode. I just want to eat some mushroom gummies. Let's hit some sour papaya, mix micron. This is probably a little large, but I am sweaty, and I want to do a big dab. Cheers. What's up, Clad? We're going in, dude. Cheers, buddy. Hey, cheers, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to continue this dab as we watch, though. Alright, let's go see what this is. Oh, it's a ship. Neato. That's cool. Oh, there's a guy throwing... Fucking axes at me, holy shit. Dude, is this the red thing I was seeing? Don't tell me that this is the red thing I was seeing. Ah, he sent me a blaze. Whoop! Oh, I stopped being on fire at the second. Whoa. Did I finish my dab? No, we got one more reheat. That's alright though. Man, I'm sad. Wait, dude. There's a village here. That means that... Damn, we gotta go investigate this fucking village and see if there was bread right next to me the whole time. That actually might be a tragedy. I'm just running around with fucking three hearts missing. Three hearts of health. Dude, I swear it was a giant mushroom. I should have fucking zoomed in, I guess. God damn it. This arch is really cool. Where's my boat? That's real cool. Is that enough to make boat? Just enough for boat. There's a motherfucking village, dude. What the fuck? No, it's a big one too. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh god. Oh fuck. Let's see how much fucking bread I get from these haystacks. Shit. Shit in hell. Fucking. There's no faster way to chop these bad boys. Damn, they've got an iron golem and everything. They're pimping over here. Holy shit. Leather pants died. They're sick. Love your kit, dude. Love your wares, dog. What's your brand? There's no way this gives me that much bread, right? I haven't really thought about it. We got a bed now, too, without having to murder sheep. That's fucking sick. An alchemy station? Damn, dude, I might have to move in over here. Yellow is like one of the dab lad colors, too. Should I just make this my my home? We, like, pimp out this village? Bro, my, my fucking base is literally like on the other side of this goddamn mountain. It's so close. Winnie gifting a sub. You're amazing, man. You don't gotta do that. Thank you so much. Sick. This would be fully grown if I was in the same chunk. I don't think it's quite the same chunk. I'm pretty sure. Bro, are you good up there? I'm gonna save the village. They're like, please, our village is about to get overtaken by this volcano. Not if I can help it. You're safe now. You can come down, sir. Sorry. <laughs> Low guy. This is a dope village. I should light it up. Hold on a second, though. More little guys. Cute. I was like, damn, are there... <gasps> I was like, damn, are there no fucking chests in this place? He's bouncing on the bed! Oh my god! Are they fucking programmed to do this? What a cutie. Oh. <laughs> I was just trying to eat. And he was like, ha ha ha. Thank you again for gifting that sub to Cloud. That's awesome, man. Oh, there's more. What the fuck? Bro, I gotta f make them a nice road. This is a great village. What the fuck? Oh, I don't know if I've ever seen this type of house design. Oh my gosh! Taylor with the Prime sub. You're so nice. Guys, that is too sweet. Thank you so much. Holy frick. Did that start a hype train or queue up a hype train? That's crazy. No way, a hype train on my channel! That never happens. Crazy. Remember, guys... Whoa! Is this more, or is this the same village? That's the same village. Remember, everybody, I have the long-term goal of becoming a full-time content creator again. But my goal is to... What the fuck is that thing? My goal is to do it... Whoa. To do it without...
necessarily relying on your guys' money, like donations or anything like that. So I'm never going to really like encourage that or like ask for it, but I really fucking appreciate it. So thank you so much. It certainly does mean a lot. Cheers. Well, what's up? There's cherry blossoms over there. And another village? Are you friggin' kidding me? All right, hold on. Okay, that didn't give me that much wheat. Dude, that was like nothing. That makes me feel a lot better. I thought I was an idiot for not having found this village that was right next to me this whole time, but at the end of the day, it, it really came down to how many farms I created, I think. All right, guys, speaking of never trying to entice you guys or ask for hype, check out the hype banger. <laughs> loading. It's loading. Sorry, it takes a minute. Jack, nice. What did you just do? Here. Five subs? Oh my goodness. And Miss Erlo. Thank you so much, Winnie. You're a freaking legend, man. It's very, very sweet of you. Look look how full you got my hype banger. That means I have to do a three gram dab. No, I'm just kidding. As if. What is this? There's like Hasm in between here and my area. Some pumpkins. Hype <laughs> banger. I already know her. <laughs> Look at this place. What the fuck is this? Bro, this is crazy. This is a really wild... Look at this. This terrain generation is sick. There's like a cliff. So like this is normal. This part is weird. This is like a giant cave that's exposed to the air or something. That's cool. Cra craft... Dabcraft falls. Oh, I have more torches. Perfect. Look at what? Look at that. This is cool! This is natural... Do we dive in? F fuck it! Sick. This is crazy. Wow. This is so cool. It's like a giant water park or something. Yo, what's up, big dude? Great to see you, man. Alright, so I'm trying to find my way home here. We found a fucking village. Wow, look how fucking close this village was to my house this whole time. Pretty crazy. I see you, creeper. Fuck you. Fuck! Fuck! Thank you again for gifting five subs, man. That's nuts. Dude, he did the damn thing. Alright. So we're a little further from home than I thought. Never mind. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Fight each other, bitches. Fight each other. That was crazy. Here's my, my area. Nice and chill here. Is this where we go up? No. Where's my inspection? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck you. I do not even want to fuck with that guy. He's got a fucking enchanted sword. Hell no. Bro, uh, do I have a bow? I do not want to fucking fight this guy. He could one-shot me. I don't know what the fuck that guy has on his sword. There's a panda and a creeper. We made it home. The hype has concluded and the moon is high. So it's time for a huge dab. Time for a big dab. We made it home. So I'm really sad that that wasn't a mushroom that I saw. We're going to have to go back up there and scope it out. Dab time. My headset's about to die, so I'm swapping the battery real quick. So swap mics for a moment. You sent me some hype, man. Should we hit the Dr. Dabber excess, the boost, or do a torch dab with a slurper? You get to pick it. Excess. Oh, bold. Let me grab it real quick. We'll hit some more of this mixed micron papaya. It's a little dirty in here. Sorry about that. Cheers. Let's get it, JM. Cheers, man. Cheers, buddy. Hey, cheers, motherfucker. Cheers. Bro, I'm sad. I really wanted to try these gummies. I'm reheating again. It's daytime. We're going to go climb up this tree again and see what the fuck I was looking at that was red. Getting a little spicy there. Alright, dude. What the fuck is that? That's a mushroom! Where did I go? I went this way. I went the wrong fucking way. I'm high. It's still there. <laughs> fuck. We get to eat the gummies, guys. It just took two days longer than it should have. I go this way? I can't believe I did that. It took so long. We went on such a fucking adventure. Hopefully these gummies kick in fast. If not, you'll have... I'll have to like edit in some footage from the stream or something. This music is stressing me out. This is how I feel right now, guys. I'm trying to communicate it to you.
<laughs> this shit's really close. I was like, dude, there's no way it's this far. I went so far in the other direction. So if you guys don't know, previously in the series I had the idea to try these new mushroom gummies that I got sent if I ever find a mushroom. Specifically a giant mushroom, I think is what I said. And we just did it. Bro, I can't believe there's just a mushroom on the side of the fucking goop. Oh, I need silk touch in order to get any of the pieces? Damn. I wonder if there's any more. Did you try the mushrooms yet? No, we're gonna do it right now. I gotta show you guys what we're working with here. So, dude, in this package are four mushroom gummies. These are Stardust mushroom gummies. From this same company, I've tried this same company's Amanita mushroom gummies, and I liked them. It was the first Amanita that I've tried. Actually, the only Amanita I've tried still. So, got high hopes here. Come in here with the dab camera to show you guys what we're working with. Do they have psilocybin? In the realm of psychedelic mushrooms. Let me make sure I'm in a safe place. I guess I'll go in my my mushroom house for now. Mushrooms were legalized in Colorado. So anyone can grow psychedelic mushrooms and share them with a friend. Smoke shops like the one I used to work in, we sell psilocybin spores so that people can grow their own mushrooms. But you can't sell stuff that already has psilocybin in it. The spores don't have psilocybin, they just create stuff that makes psilocybin, right? So it's super interesting. Pretty progressive, pretty cool. So psilocybin is like the main component of magical mushrooms, as one would call it. Before that was legalized, or in places where stuff like that isn't legal, there's something called amanita that is also sold in smoke shops. That's the Mario mushroom, uh, the red one with right, white spots. I consider that like Delta-8 of psychedelic mushrooms if like psilocybin is thc amanita is like delta 8. what's up luis but so this company here created their own blend so it's not psilocybin it's not amanita it's just some random thing which i would never ever encourage anyone to try or even consider trying myself if i hadn't already gotten stuff from this company trust them a little bit but i'm like a risky guy if you're the kind of person that has like health risks i wouldn't do this so low dose one gummy that's what we're going to do body high and giddy monitor ghost dose two gummies sensory effects three gummies altered perception four gummies buckle up it's a spiritual experience so i watched this guy on youtube who i've watched i watched his um views before he reviews like amanita gummies and stuff like that i've watched his content a little bit and he reviewed these and he he was like, these are crazy. And it kind of makes me a little scared to try them, but we're still going to do it. If they're, I feel like if I eat one Amanita gummy, it's like barely perceptible. So if one gummy is perceptible, then we've got some strong stuff here. But we're going for a microdose. These look really nice. They look yummy. Cheers, everybody. Dude, me too, Big Jang. It's been a long time though, man. I haven't I haven't had a big dose of psilocybin mushrooms, despite them being so available to me and here in town. You know, I have friends that will make me a nerd's rope full of mushrooms if I want to, but I haven't indulged in that stuff in quite a while. Despite it, when he says they're helping with my depression and stuff like that, for whatever reason, it's just not something I, I'm drawn to do very often, because I don't I don't have bad trips very often. I'm not immune to it, of course. I definitely like to do it in a familiar set and setting. I'm not the kind of person that likes to trip and go out on an adventure usually. I've done that a few times in my life and had a good time, but like I said, it's not something that I like to do often. Does it take just as long as edibles to kick in? I would imagine just as long, if not maybe a little longer. Treated depression, existential anxiety, substance abuse disorder, post-traumatic, psilocybin, problem solving, thinking about growing it, it's a long-term goal. Dude, I know a lot of people that grow it, it's a, it's a great idea. The fuck are you doing, bro? Are you on mushrooms too? Alright, we found the mushroom, we ate the gummy, now what do we do, y'all? finish my bread mission how often do you take mushrooms that's what i'm saying jam is i haven't 
had mushrooms in quite a while. I I have I know countless people that that eat them quite regularly and I have the ability and access to do so myself, but I don't know if I've eaten any mushrooms in over a year. It's been quite a while. I had one mushroom trip where I didn't feel like I really even tripped and I just felt like sick. And I think that, bro, I'm kind of lost. I'm kind of lost. Guys, I'm lost. There's my house. Fuck. Anxiety, that's a side effect. It's hitting. I've never done it. Psychedelics are one of those things that I was very interested in for a very long time. Did a lot of research on. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. <laughs> what the fuck? They're like, welcome home, bitch. We've been waiting. And I definitely encourage you to do the same. To me, one of the coolest and most promising things about psychedelics is the potential for its use in conjunction with therapy. So like psychedelic assisted therapy is really what we can thank any sort of like progression in the laws on this stuff for the people who are like taking mushrooms in clinical settings with licensed professionals and doing it in a way where they're getting the data that they can share with the government and and with us all these people that's like hey dude like the huge majority of people that use this stuff in a safe and responsible way benefit in so many different ways just like Winnie said because at the end of the day, what it really does is it uh, promotes your brain to form new connections. So like when it comes to depression, it gets you out of those ruts and those cycles that, that you get trapped in. It's thought cycles, emotional cycles. Yeah, I can't even begin to go into all the shits that's going on. It's, it's definitely over my head. I'm trying my best to get to the point where I can eloquently talk about some of the mechanisms involved in cannabis. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do before I could do that with psychedelics first trip changed your life yeah i uh, i feel like my first trip completely changed my relationship with myself and my depression as well my main takeaway from like my first trip was just that like everything's always going to be okay and like i'm right where i need to be shit like that clear out my inventory a little bit one of the most fascinating things that I've heard recently is that DMT is actually showing to be one of the most applicable and useful psychedelics in such a therapeutic setting that we were talking about. Because when you ingest psilocybin or LSD or most of these mind-altering drugs usually lasts quite a long time, which is harder for a patient to do. You have to like set aside a whole day or even few days maybe to do this kind of thing and then you also need these very highly trained professionals that are not cheap that a doctor that has gone through a similar amount of schooling or has a similar level of expertise can see who knows how many patients in a day hundreds I don't know and then you have these psychedelic therapists that they can only help one person in a day so it's very interesting because we're at the point where it's accessible but it's super costly but we'll get to the point where the government will help out with that potentially a little bit and you can use insurance and stuff like that to get it's obviously the end goal for people at maps the multi multi-disciplinary association for psychedelic studies who are the real heroes in this department and field so i feel like i feel it a little bit i feel like a little more stoned than than just cannabis interesting what is that noise did i clear my inventory out enough no i did not god damn it what am i doing this sounds like pokemon music to me right now is it nighttime did i do a dab i think i need to do a dab i probably do damn dude i think i'm feeling it should i eat another one slurper dab bro no, dude, it's already, the night, night is already halfway over. I'll do a slurper dab after this one. I still have to finish my last dab too. No, my last dab was in here. I just have a reheat in my boost. All right, I'm gonna hit this reheat in my boost and we're gonna load a fresh one into excess while we hit the reheat. Oh, and it's 420, let's go. Bro, dab craft is no, no joke, man. I really want to see another content creator try to do it. It's a lot of dabs. Should we do two dabs at once? I'm too, I'm too, I'm too high. I got like no time left. 
daytime is about to start. I gotta fucking, I gotta speed dab, guys. Quit distracting me, guys. It's not you. We're hitting Spritzer 90U real quick. Real quick. Not a huge dab, because I'm quite intoxicated at this point. Cheers. Bro, game is, music is going ham right now. Cheers, buddy. Hey, cheers, motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, not gonna lie, I think I was about to try to hit my boost and drink at the same time. That's probably not possible, right? Pretty sure that's not how inhaling works. <laughs> You're playing Dark and Darker, Dro? Nice, man. Shout out, Dro. Dro's a new father, everybody, if you don't know. Bro, the vibes. We got some lightning, too. He's doing the dad thing. We're gonna try to do a torch dab. Bro, I haven't even looked at what day it is. This whole... So, it's day 43. We end... We have two more dabs left in this session, y'all. And then and then it's over. <laughs> Just like, speaking of me, who wants to buy my sports cars? I love it. Yeah, for real though. Dude, definitely use I love when you guys like use your use my stream to advertise if somehow you can talk to someone that can fucking in here that can better You know what I'm saying. Yeah, dude, I'm feeling that one gummy. Wow. I'm feeling it. My, are my eyes dilated? Fuck, dude, I meant, I went up there to empty my inventory and I didn't do it, I just did a dab. I have no fucking, I can't even farm bread right now. I'm, I'm worthless. Alright, do that. If I can finish the chest while on shrooms, that'd be pretty sick. Because, yeah, we're just going to say that I'm sh on shrooms right now because it's definitely feeling a little psychedelic. A wee bit. No, I don't think my eyes look very dilated, or my pupils look very big, personally. They get pretty big when I'm on some good mushies or anything like that. Potato. Do not need potato. Dude, where did I get 12 apples? Oh, that was in that one chest. It's the same place I got the potato. Crazy. I shouldn't eat all of these. I should save some. It might be a little boring. The fuck? Bruh. Bruh. Hello? Hello, sir. You stamping my crops, you fuck? Bro, this guy's about to get sucked down into my cave. Have fun. Later, cherry sapling. That's kind of cool. Pointed dripstone. I could actually purchase this. Dude, you're go You're on a ride right now, dog. See ya, brother. Oh my god, he's actually doing it. Will he die? He's like, will I? <laughs> you're gonna be fine, bro. Oh. Perfect. He lost his llamas. I wonder if I can give him back his llamas. We could like, mission reunite bro with his llamas. Let's see if we can do it. I think he's just down here. Bro, he's like, excuse me, that's mine. Can I not give him back to you? God damn it. I guess I have a llama now, guys. I guess I have two llamas now. I'm now a llama dad. Let's come this way. We'll just pretend like they helped me farm. Damn, dude, I'm gonna have to like fucking llama proof, child proof my fucking how do I... I have two pet llamas now. Alright, we've named stuff in the past. We have one name tag. Damn. Let's name one llama. Old Man Winfrey gifted me a bunch of subs today. Winnie, you get to pick the name of a llama. Name one for me, please. Thank you again for the subs, man. Dude, this guy made it out of that. He, he just enjoys the ride. Look at this fucking guy. What the hell? I'm down, dude. Let's go. What's your name? Huh? Where's your mom? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thought he was gonna do it. Winnie's. Oh, he said he'll be right back. Shit. Yeah, 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 Oh, dude, I forgot. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, I'm definitely feeling it now. Holy shit. I'm definitely feeling it. Definitely. Pay no attention to what I'm doing right now. Feeling kind of crazy. Feel like I might be tripping balls, dude. Fuck. Oh. Whoa. I just applied shaders and distant worlds, distant lands. Kind of uh, anticlimactic to do it in uh, underground. If I had done it, but if I had done that upstairs, it might have been cooler. But yeah, we've got shaders now to make the game look pretty. <laughs> you can't even like, see the water, hardly. We've got shaders and we've got distant lands on, so we can see really far. Dude, <laughs> I forgot what I that I was gonna do that. And then, so the second I remembered I just did it, I should have waited for a more opportune moment. But, obviously, 
I'm a little high right now. Poopy doopy doop. Yeah 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 yeah. Oh, how I'm feeling right now. I definitely don't have any nausea, which just reminded me of the food that I made in the air fryer before I started streaming an hour and 60 over an hour and 16 minutes ago, which is not uncommon of me to do. So, that's one thing that's nice about me getting stoned or intoxicated is usually I do a better job of eating food <laughs> and taking care of myself. Cuz cannabis helps when I Especially when I get like really stoned. Obviously, now that I am more accustomed to to the effects of cannabis more often, unfortunately, I don't quite get the munchies as they call them as much. But for me, I just feel like it's just like general awareness. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking. I wonder if you could have. I wonder if you all heard that. It was pretty intense. So crazy. I just like for so much random tension in my back. Nighttime is just about to start, which means it's time to go upstairs and hit a slurper dab. Fuck. Let's go see what my cave looks like in outside. We gotta go up to the top of the tree again is what we really gotta do. Whoa. Dude, I need to name all these fools for under twenty-five dollars. Dude, that's that's just shake. You talking about the rainbow runs? That stuff smells really good, honestly. That is some some pretty solid shake. The shake ounces are fire for show. It's dab time. I'm a little sweaty right now, which happens to me if I haven't dabbed in a while, but I've definitely done a dab. Is it shake or is it bud trim? I'm pretty sure it's shake. Like popcorn nug? No, not even popcorn nugs. Our popcorn ounces are 45 bucks. We're gonna do it. So that's where you disappeared to. You're looking at, at the weed maps, huh? I was like, damn, damn dude, everybody left me. That was <laughs> there was a lot of people hanging in the stream for a bit. It was fun. I'm not sad though. Pillar dab or not? I like the pillar. I think we'll do it. When I use the pillar though, I don't use the dab camera. This series has seen enough of the dab camera though. I don't need to do a dab camera melt shot. Let's just load up a nice dab with the pillar. The pillar is fun because you can literally just boop 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 it onto your dabs. Just, I just smash and the the rosin acts just like fucking cookie dough. Dude, I can't believe I have a fucking roommate in Minecraft now. This is crazy. <laughs> so this is like a quarter of a pillar, maybe. I did a half pillar dab earlier, which is pretty big. Full pillar is a really big dab. I've only done that once so far since I've gotten the pillar. Maybe one day we'll do full pillar. Go full pillar. I'm going full pillar. Put this right here. Put this right here to do the torching. And let's get it. It's uh, still not even halfway through nighttime, so we're looking good. I've got my carb cap. Could always add more on with the the terp scope too if we want. That's not necessary. Let's see if my torch will light. Perfect. Perfect. My igniter on my torch is going out. Do I still have my filters off? I think I do. Yeah, I turned them off so you could ha crack hear my back cracks. But I want you guys to be able to hear the torching and the slurping here as well, because the sounds of a slurper dab are half the fun. If you don't know a a terp slurper with like good pillar or good terp pearls or marbles in there to spin around. It's basically a fidget spinner for dabbers, and it's awesome. Here's hot, hot. Mine's probably hot, hot too. Let's check the temp. I got this little guy off Amazon. It's been doing pretty well for me. We're super hot. I like to have the top of my slurper one or two hundred degrees hotter than the bottom. All right, we're about to go in here. We want it extra hot to get this pillar to heat up and so we can hit all this down. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, buddy. Hey, cheers, motherfucker. Going in. <laughs> I waited too long. Bro, I gotta reheat this thing super, super hard. Fuck, I was too slow. Bro, so much fucking oil on my carb cap. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try again. You gotta go in a little hot with the... Whoa. Dude, I'm really... We really want to get a dab right too, Big Jank. That's like the only cool thing we need. Dude, have you seen the the fucking bamer, banger barbecue yet, Big Jank? Because I know you know the Terp sous vide from the Invest in Hedy's guys, right? Did I finish this dab? <laughs> I think I finished it. I just hate wasting concentrate. I love getting every last bit of my dabs. Alright, day is just about to start. 
Let's go see how things look upstairs. Whoa. Whoa. I'll send it to you on Instagram. If you mess it, send me a message on Instagram. Be like, banger barbecue. And I'll look at that later and send it to you. Banger barbecue. I think it might just be at banger barbecue on Instagram. It's the ultimate fucking dude. It's the best one. It's the best torchless banger heating solution that I've seen so far. And it's very affordable and you can heat four bangers at a time. It looks pretty fucking sick. Whoa. Look how fucking far we can see. What even is that? So this is where I was. I went way down there. There's the red mushroom. It's so fucking foggy. I don't want to be in this fog. I th Why is it like this? Is it my shader? It might be my shader that's making it too foggy. Let me turn it off for a second. See, so yeah, I just want to... Damn, that, <laughs> that doesn't look very good. It looks kind of fucked up. Appreciate the shout out. Uh, of course. Welcome back. Bro, this doesn't look that good. Is, is this how it's supposed to look? I don't feel like it's doing it right. It looks like... It looks pretty shitty. Did you find it? That shit's crazy. Dude, I thought this was gonna change everything. People, Minecraft people are like, Dang, distant land. So hold on, let's see if I disable it. So if I disable, this is how it looks. It is very boring. But like the really far shit looks like shit. I should see if I can make it look better. I don't know, I'm not stoked about it. It's cool to see what's over there, I guess though. I guess that's the point. I'll turn the shader back on too. I just wanted to see what it was like. Cool. It's kind of, I, I think I'm just gonna fucking keep farming bread. <laughs> I just want to finish my chest. We can do it. I think this is the final day. It's day 44. Day 44. Final day before th this sesh ends. This is sesh nine. Well, when you hurt yourself, it's pretty intense. We still have my final farms downstairs to go check out and farm, harvest, whatever terminology is. I bet we got seven stacks of bread down there. This music, man. This music is hitting. Damn, dude. Get back in there. The fish look crazy. No. I did it. I saved him. Why are they all here? Fuck. Fuck. Whoa, dude, I just planted to the music there for a second. I was tab dancing. Did you guys hear that? That was a very melodic. That's how you know I'm fucking tripping is that I was like, dude, I heard a really nice rhythm when I just planted right there. I like planted with the song. I clipped it for you guys. Someone go back and listen to it. You'll hear it. Whoa. It's like a goddamn song. Yeah. This is so fun. <laughs> I'm destroying my fucking glow berries. It's all right, we'll replant, we'll replant. If you guys don't know, this is uh, glow bread. That's my brand, glow bread, because my bread is grown by the light of glow berries. It's the only place on earth you can get this shit. I, I haven't sold a single, no one on earth has this bread other than me yet as well, so. That's why I'm creating this supply. That's all there will be. I'm gonna blow this cave up with dynamite and it'll be treated like a limited supply of Bitcoin and it'll just get more and more valuable over time. Cause you know, someone will be stupid and try to eat some and then boom, even less glow bread out there. Oh, we've got conflicting music, excuse me. What's up Nova? Created by Nova. You got a Benjamin? Dude, dude, I have my Penjamin near my... Dude, you know what I fucking have, dude? I have this crazy thing. I don't think I've showed this off while I've been playing Dabcraft yet. Look at this thing. This is for the Penjamins. I got the glow thing by Cake. You put your cart on this. It's like a puffco for carts. This thing's actually pretty dope. My hands are sweaty as fuck, not gonna lie. What the deuce? You haven't seen this thing yet? So when I first got it, we called it the glowy machine. Fucking Cupid's called it the glowy machine. Cause he was like, yeah, we, I told him, I was like, yeah, it just burns the shit out of everything I put in it. Dude, this music, what are these fucking clarinets right now? Get me going. By the way, look how fucking cool my cave, let's just admire my cave real quick. 
Oh my god. Look at my beautiful farms. Not too bad for putting very little effort into it and going only for maximum bread yield. Mostly. I need more. I thought I would have a few stacks. Fuck. What's that thing called? It's called the glow. This music is going fucking crazy right now. It's like giving me chills. Why is it so damn loud? <laughs> this is the game doing this. The game is fucking throwing these jams at me. Giving me chills. That's some frisson right there. If anyone knows that word. Frisson. Before we ever started down to quest, my uh, I was gonna do my own business called Frisson VR. Was one of my business ideas. I ha I have a lot of ideas. Most of which don't come to fruition. Frisian VR and the Shepherds. Looks cool and I'm not a Minecraft fan. Cheers. Appreciate that. What's up, Ladin? Got a member of the Chub Club in the chat. Dude, it's, um, it just came night time. This is the last dab of this sesh for Minecraft. How did you fucking... You're not supposed to be here, bro. How did you hit me through my shield? The fuck good is this thing? Okay, sorry. We're gonna do... A dab. How should we do this last dab, guys? Should I double fist Dr. Dabber devices? Oh no, we could. Uh, well, we're gonna hit the cart thing. We're gonna hit the glow. Bro, you can shred some carts with this thing. Holy fuck, man. I kind of want to make a video where I try to speed run a cart and see how fast I can finish like, half gram of rosin. Because, uh, check it out. So look at the, the level of the oil. It's at about half. Specifically, there's no bubbles around the atomizer. Let's just come in close here. So this cart I have on here is a CBD CBG cart. It's actually really yummy. It's got botanical terpenes. I'm a big fucking fan of this shit. It's really dope. Batch. But yeah, it's got like a lemony citrus. It almost feels like I'm dabbing pledge, but I'm a big fan of it. Never seen someone speed run a cart. It's not a good idea, but so you so see these little like, dots here at the bottom? That's where the oil gets vaporized and then inhaled. So that's like porous material, basically, that once it gets hot, that, that gets hot, and that's where the oil is vaporized. So when you really start ripping a cart, be it on a normal battery or something that can really start smashing it like this, um, you'll see little bubbles of air appear there. So right now there's no air bubbles. And I'm about to create some. <laughs> Ready? This shit's crazy. I have it on. This is the only cart that I've put on the second heat level of this one, too. It's working. It's working. Holy fuck. So now you. Let's look at that air bubble I just made. Damn, dude, it's so hot that the air bubble floated to the top, like, right away. You can see two of them, still, but they're, like, at top now. Let's see. This giant air bubble was down here. Dude, actually, wait. I can, you guys can watch an air bubble form in real time. This might be cool. Let's try it. All right, we're, night time is still night time. We can keep, we can keep ripping. All right, I see it. I see it forming. Holy fuck. That was kind of cool. You could see it coming out of the fucking atomizer. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, so the cart was like halfway. We did it some good damage right there. I could... This stuff is a little extra... What's it called? That stuff's a little extra... Damn, dude, I'm so close to finishing my goal. That's all right. We're going to finish the goal, the the filling the ch chest full of bread goal, um, next episode. Um, this stuff is extra viscous. Ah, I couldn't think of... Bro, I literally, I was like, I got to talk about something else for a second, and then I'll think of the word. Viscous. CBD, CBG, yeah. To one THC to CBD, and then it's got, like, CBG. It's fire. Botanical terpenes. I'm a fan. Uh, would absolutely buy another one, honestly. And to be completely fair, as day 45 rolls in, I feel like it helps me from getting headaches. Because lots of times if I get, if I smoke too much, get too much THC, I get headaches. 
So I feel like smacking some CBD counteracts that a little bit. I don't know though, maybe that's placebo. But yeah, that's it for Minecraft here, guys. All right, day 45's begun. I got a fucking lay. Oh, Winnie's in the chat. To end the episode, old man Winfrey, name this llama, please. We need to name a llama. I only have one name tag. To end the episode, we will name this guy. Or that's how we'll start next time on Dabcraft. Thank you so much for watching. I'm still going to have Winnie give me the answer right now, but we're going to start that next episode. So he's taking a long time.